What is up, my friends? So today, we have a MacBook. An Insomniac MacBook. And yes, it is almost 12 a.m. over here. Got a water-damaged MacBook. I don't know what happened. This, this, this guy spilled beer, I think. Yeah. Let's do some heavy drinking. And uh, sometimes you spill some beer on your MacBook. So let's take it apart. Let's take it apart and uh, see what's going on with this little MacBook. It's been a bad boy. Kind of some wild, uh, wild nights it has had. That's yeah, okay. Definitely nothing that we've never, nothing that we've never seen before. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> All right, maybe, maybe a few times. Maybe we've seen it before, just a, just a little bit. <laughs> this is a A1989 back, MacBook. I was going to say Batman. Because <laughs> in 1989, uh, that's when Batman with Michael Keaton came out. A1989 Batman. The Insomniac Batman MacBook. Nice. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. What happened there? What did you do to me, man? What did they do to me? I'm going to flip it around a little. Now that does not look pretty. Do you feel pretty? I do not. Hmm. Oh. Let's see things in our microscope before we inject any power. Ooh. Eesh. Oh, man. Mmm. A lot of heat would happen there. A lot of heat. I'm uh, going to have to take this out of the board. I'm not even going to I'm not even going to attempt to plug this in just yet. Let's get to it. Let's take out all this. Yeah, it's a penelope. Don't need a penelope. I need my Torx bit. Right, all right, all right. A little too big.
Okay, it's a little bit. That's right. There we go. Oh, it's just sticky stuff. I don't really want to pry it off. Have to put a little bit of hot air on there. Oh, Two hundred should be fine. There we go. All right. Oh, whoa. Uchi Mama. Uchi. I knew I was going to say that one day. Uchi Mama. This is a. This is. This is a Uchi Mama. This is a very nice Uchi Mama. Yeah. Let's clean all that Uchi Mamas. I have to clean those fans too, a little bit. Well, you know. Yeah, there's probably a bunch of crap in the air. It's like, ah, I gotta study for final. No, you gotta change your filter out. No, forget that. Mom, get out of here. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. That's as good as it's gonna get. Let's test this board once we've taken it out. Let's see how the board looks. Just right there at that edge. Whoa, holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly, let's see that. Wow, we gotta bring this. Back from the dead. Yeah, let's... Man, that's dirty right there, too. <laughs> Even though this looks so terrible... These caps. Oh, that one's gone. Maybe. I think this chip is gone. Uh, it's totally gone. That one is totally gone right there.
There's a hole in that, I think. Yep. Definitely a hole in that chip. Man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring this board back to life. I'll try. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put some flux over the chips. Going to reheat them. Take the crud out of there. That one's already gone, that one. I don't even know why I'm putting that. I already know that one's gone. Okay, let's get some hotter. Oh, fume extractor too. We shall see. Put it closer to the fume extractor. I don't put any flux right there. I mean, I'm pretty sure those are dead, but... Don't want to have anybody left out. So I'm just trying to make sure that uh, all this stuff is uh, so much nicer looking. Just a little bit. Just before you dump it in the ultrasonic. All right, it's fixed. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think the ultrasonic's going to fix it either. <laughs> I'm going to take the shield the shield off. Yeah, that shield was supposed to protect that. Nope. 
It did not. I put a little tiny bit of heat on there. Barely any. Or maybe I won't. Actually, you know what? I probably won't put any heat on there. Now I'm thinking about it. Uh, darn, it's a connector right there. I gotta put heat right here. Darn, let's do a lot of connectors on this machine. A lot of connectors. Eh, just one more to be safe. Well, those are gone. Those are so gone. Careful. Yeah, it looks so much better. That one does not. I'm going to ruin that connector because of the stupid captain tape. Yeah, I can take it off with a soldering iron. Let's do that. That's going to be a pain, too. Pretty much everything has been touched that needed to be touched. Ooh. Off to the ultrasonic you go. But first... Take off that heat sink because we do not put things inside the ultrasonic with heat sink. Nope, nope, nope. Or thermal paste because it makes the water look all crap. Yeah. 
And once we're done with the repair, uh, we uh, we add some new thermal paste. But I don't like these uh, heat sinks and thermal paste and thermal paste thingies. To go in the ultrasonic because um it turns the water all weird and yeah it's just not good. We use our crest ultrasonic. Good stuff. And there's a thermal paste. Oh, it's already getting kinda of dry? Are you serious? Because why? Because Apple. Cause Apple. Why? Why am I cleaning that right now? I'm not putting that. On, I'm not putting that in the ultrasonic. I'm putting this. Okay. Off to the ultrasonic you go. All right, let's show you guys my progress. So. Uh, got little, uh. Oh, whoa. For this kind of stuff that's so tiny, I want to go a little ultra zoom. You know what? I think it also broke the metal on that. Yep, it totally did. So this happened because I was trying to put this back in the case and I ripped two uh two resistors. So I'm just gonna put put brand new resistors back on there. I kinda thought I was done with this repair. But that's life sometimes, you know? You think you're done with something and you're really not. Because maybe I was just trying to put it in too quickly. It's a 2.2 kilo ohm on my A200 0840 board, otherwise known as the A1706 board. R3461. I hope that's not one I already took off. So now let's get this off of our donor board. It was like one, two, three. That's it right there. I think I'm going to try it with just replacing that one. Since like I have so many jumpers, jumper cables everywhere, I'm just gonna put this on with uh, with my uh, soldering pencil.
try my best not to touch any of those wires because then they might get dislodged. Perfect. I think I'm going to put a little bit more, <clears throat> more solder on there because I think that will definitely break off. Just keep it holding the wire. That looks good. Nice. Nice and strong. You know, I think this should actually boot just like that. Because I don't know why, but when I was installing this site, I didn't even notice that this other resistor that I that just flew off that was over here. Where was it? It was right there. It's actually no stuff. So let's clean this up. Try to see if it boots. If it boots, I'm just going to put it in like that. Why waste my time with a no stuff? This repair, I was, uh, I was really just going to change all the bad capacitors, all the bad uh, resistors, and uh, pretty much anything that was visibly bad, and um, and then go from there. But the thing is, I think I fixed the board just by doing that alone. I didn't do any extra troubleshooting. I didn't. I didn't do much schematics. The only thing I would use the schematics and board view were just to find out the values of what went where. You know, changing out those uh, what wasn't working. Yeah, because the board is pretty clean now. Yeah, you could see that this was dem definitely damaged before. That line didn't add up, so. Gotta add in a data line. Not a data line. I don't know why I'm saying that. Just under line. That went to that. These were all good. I think I might have added new solder. Parts where I changed out. That's where they were coming from on the board view software. It was basically all on the left hand side of the board all the damage see where you can see see what I did there 
Remember, all these resistors right here were pretty much all damaged, so they have all been all changed. <coughs> See a little bit of heat right here. I was using a little bit of heat. Nothing major. But just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. And uh yeah, you can see that. That's not factory. There's a little tiny mistake. Yeah, I think that one too. Obviously that is not factory, that's not how it came in. But it wasn't reaching it. Yep. So now we can just put it in the case. This took me about a well. The biggest, the biggest deal, the biggest deal was uh, this inductor right here. It's doing some research. It's a 1.2, uh, 1.2 uh, microfarad inductor, and uh, I had to do some research and see if I could change it out. And I was able to change it out with a 1.0. And um, and it worked. Yeah, I had to do the research and find out if that would actually be uh, solving the issue because I wasn't really 100% sure. And I cleaned these out a bit. Uh, see, because you can see there was some heat damage on here. All right, well, let's put this back in the case because as far as I remember, it's definitely booting. From what I got with the multimeter. I think I got a uh, 300 milliamps with a, with a 20 with 20 volts. So. And that is a working MacBook, baby.